And given that we've just talked about visual effects, it's a perfect segue into our next segment. Was it really that bad? Was it really that bad? Was, was it, it really, really that, that bad? bad? So this is the segment which we'll be talking about a movie that everyone is convinced it is really that bad. And Something we're going to do our best trashed. to try to prove to you. You know what? Was it really that bad? It has a 2.8. On IMDb. We haven't identified it yet, but that probably gives it away. All right, we'll give you a couple hints here. Uh, Where's the real time? <laughs> it came out around Christmas time. It got slashed before it even came out. This is one of those movies that had a rollout with one amazing trailer that hit the ground in somewhere in October, or I want to say maybe it was before that. Okay, the second trailer was amazing. The first one was a disaster. And the first one was bad. Amazing. Like, I didn't for, say it. Okay, it was like Sonic the Hedgehog yep, bad. Cheers, cheers, Damn cheers. It. Thank you, Carlos. So, we're talking about cats. <laughs> That's what oh, we're, yeah, talking we're talking about. about. Yeah, we're talking about, about cats. cats. We, uh, we all sat down and watched it within the last day or so. And we have not discussed it with each other. At all. I'm very excited to Nobody's see Nobody's taking notes. We're going to freeform this. All right. Jeff, but Jeff, but Jeff every time we notes. say something negative, we have to drink. So yes. we have to try to... Okay, I'm going to start with this. Go. Cats is one of the worst musicals ever written. Mm. Drink. Okay, fine. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's one. <laughs> so I suppose it doesn't have to be a literal translation when you take it from stage to screen. <laughs> but this movie was... I mean... What did you expect? Is what you, I want to yeah, know. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest question I think you <laughs> walk away with. This musical's bad. I fell asleep twice one time I saw it. It got rained out and I was laughing. Like, it, this music, I still don't know what a fucking Jellicle cat is. And then at the end, we're like, we're going to choose the Jellicle cat. And I was like, but doesn't the Jellicle cat die? All right, so I don't let's know all, anything that's let's happening. All, let's all share our personal joke. story with cats, first of all, because uh, I had a very similar experience. <laughs> When I was young, we started going to the theater a little bit, saw a couple shows, and I was like, you know what, this is pretty sweet. And my mom was like, maybe, maybe you should maybe consider getting involved with this. I think you'd do it. And we went to go see Cats, and I almost threw the towel in right there. It was like sixth grade, and I thought it was one of the worst things I had ever seen. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything I was talking about. two hours in that you don't care about. I just so didn't stupid. get it. There are a couple good songs in it, but I just didn't, it just didn't call to me. Now... I have a feeling our third, our third member over here has a very different story. Dave, what yeah, was your fuck experience? You guys. I, I, uh, Dave actually is the only I, cat owner out of the when group. I, when, I, when I was fourteen, my mother took me to see Cats. It was the first biggest musical I've ever seen, and that kicked off my entire thirty-year career. That's why he is sitting in here. the entertainment That's industry. Why he is sitting I am here. coming at you over this. This movie was great. So, yeah, there was nothing wrong with this film. I'm drinking. Okay, you not quite that. anything wrong with this film. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's, just, let's just lean into it immediately. Let's just go ahead and start talking about it. I don't understand why people hated this movie so much. I really I, don't get it. I After mean, the it, thing we just said, I'm not a huge fan of that show. I don't really understand it. The first thought in my mind when it was finished was, I don't understand why everybody was so upset. I don't understand why everybody was so angry about the visual effects. I, I don't get the hate. Yeah, I have that literally, literally right stopped now. listening to critics now. Like I'll I'll just stop reading all the crap that's out there because like. This movie, I uh, granted, Cats is a niche thing. It's like if you're a fan of musicals, or in particular that musical, you're going to love this film. It's fairly faithful. Tom Hooper learnt from some of the shortcomings of Les Mis, where I felt he was shooting a stage musical. Uh, this time, the cat, like Cats, is bigger. The soundtrack is improved. The like, yeah, he made a cinematic sets, version. The, ca- of, the yeah, cameras yeah. move. Uh, it's yeah, like some of the sequences are amazing. But, again, it also has the dubious honor of being the first ever movie to get a day one release, where they released an updated version of it the day after the, or the week after the film came out. Which is, They know. admitted their faults. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine, like, a politician being like, yeah. by the way, I admit that I sucked. And then, like... like yeah, it's like, it's, it's, oh, you're, sorry, you're I made a, sorry, I made a typo. Okay, your career's over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cancel culture. Yeah. Well, here, here's, here's what... I'm going to guess as to what the negative... And I'm ready to drink. I'm just... I'm ready. Thank you, Carlos. I'm ready to go. Um... So the the musical pretty early on, it, the whole thing feels like an acid trip, right? It's just like purple and red and blue light being thrown at you. And they decided to make the white cat Victoria the lead, but not really. They just need somebody there the whole time so that we can relate Victoria to them. Victoria so was always the lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this case, she's like, she's always there. The whole story the is her journey. journey. Anyway, it's meant to be from her perspective. The whole thing feels like an acid trip. And then it's like... There's one part, so when they go inside, and they, they basically do like three sequences in a row, where you're like, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on at all. So they, they, they open, Jellicle Ball happens very early, and then right away they go inside, and they have the whole mice sequence, 
where the mice are putting on a show for the cats and then the cockroach no the, the, sorry not cockroach the ants the ants are dancing and they're cockroaches they call cockroaches, cockroaches. Yeah, right, right. and then you have um had you um, possibly taken hallucinogenics when you watched this yeah. honestly i i don't know like <laughs> I, don't know. I think truly to anybody who hated the movie just think for a second did you take hallucinogenics before yeah. you saw the movie yeah. she unzips her fur and so all this stuff happens right away and then james corden comes in and he starts making jokes about how like they're not real cats i think there's one spot where he actually goes everybody listen to these cats and he's like saying it with quotes where you're like are they taking this seriously or not my thesis here is this after that when they go into the actual dance when the moon comes out it's that is the show in its best form. Mm. Everybody looks great. The dancing's awesome. The music's hot. It's like the it's a full moon. Again, it's it like, makes more sense. But yeah. it's like you have to get through this forty five minute stretch that ultimately there's no plot. It's just like this cat, then this cat, then this cat, then this cat, then mice, then cockroaches, then ants, then fur. Then why do these cats have white sneakers on their feet but not on their hands? It's like all that shit you have to get through because the whole fucking show makes no sense. Mm. I mean, it's based on a book of poems. Yes. It's based on a book yeah. of poems. Loosely poem. interconnected poems. by someone who poems. is probably on hallucinogenic drugs <laughs> for people who have never taken them who wanted to know what they were like. Dude, mm. I, I sat there in the first five minutes of the stage musical when I was a kid and like the overture started and it absolutely blew my mind so I was probably willing to go a little bit further than most people to accept this I mean, movie this for what it is back to back to back but to back. I mean you're watching a movie version of the musical Cats what the fuck do you think was going to happen yeah did you like, think it was going to be a plot? Do you think it was going to make sense? Did, what? Well, Judy Dench isn't even did, coming for an hour. Like, what, what do you, do you think, think was going to happen? Yeah, it's like, oh, they leave a cat in the middle of the courtyard and then she gets up and fights fucking Optimus Prime? No. It's right. it's a movie about cats having a once-a-year event. And they're, they actually, in my opinion, had more plot in the movie than the musical communicates. 100%. 100%. The musical communicates no plot. There is something, I think it was oh, the Gus the Theater Cat in the musical, where I'm like, why do I need to care about this? Is Grizabella going to die? Like, why do I care about Gus? Also, Gus- it, like, Ian McKellen. I can watch Ian yeah, McKellen all Ian, fucking that, day. That was like, he parts, he was the, great. Gus the Theater Cat got up there and started singing about how, how they used but... to get trained for the theater. Yeah, <laughs> if like... you stick the landing but you don't do a backflip, also anyone that thought the Olympics, anyone you know that I mean? thought that may have been a fake nose when he was Gandalf, that's clearly a real nose. Cats don't have noses that large. That's Ian McKellen's nose. Are they cats? <laughs> they make fun of it themselves. <laughs> they, they are cats. Yes, it's no, called the best ones. It's called movie, cats. The best ones in this movie are the non-celebrities. So shout like, out hey, to all the non-celebrities. Shout out put, to like Robert Fairchild. Let's put lemurs in it. No one will see it coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up with the dancing ants? And then they ate some. And cockroaches. And the cockroaches, yes. But they said ants. I can't be wrong about Which 10 one, things uh, in this podcast. Rebel, Rebel Wilson's number? No, after that one. That, I mean, they look under I'm just going to pick up my beer in preparation yeah, when for Rebel this. Wilson, yeah, they're under the table and they're dancing. Well, she looks at mice and then the cockroaches. I thought there were also ants. It doesn't even fucking matter. Right. Again, I think I was on drugs and I wasn't. I don't know if I was, but I wasn't. But I might have been. <laughs> Look, here's I saw this Tommy, is and this Tommy is what you like, really need to take away from this weird from process. this movie. These cats are all really nice. They they, they introduce her to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> they 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 explain through song right. each kind of cat. And at the end of it, she learns that she's one of them, a Jellicle cat, but she she still doesn't really know her name. And she still doesn't know what a fucking Jellicle cat is. All Nobody right, so knows. Check it out. So I found a review of this movie called Quote, cat's review. We didn't see it, but we did take military-grade LSD and go to Petco. So, <laughs> so it's, a, it's a mock review of the movie We're about them actually having the experience of right. getting on acid and right. going to so, a pet So, yeah, basic, basically a lot of people... I mean, this movie was hated before it even came out. But if you, the, the point of this article, I think what, what this... The point they make, which I agree with, is that if you went into it thinking it was going to feel different than three hits of acid at Petco, yeah. then you were the problem, Yeah, Correct. not the movie. It's like you went and saw a movie of the musical Cats, and you didn't like it. Did you go and see the musical Cats? No. Cool. Well, then, yeah, and you're not going to like this film. Yeah. yeah. It's not for you. Yeah. There and that's a, fine. There are, al- there are allowed to be things that are not for you. All right, I'm going to talk about what didn't work for me. He has a beer in his hand. He's ready to go. All right. There were three endings. That move, the, the end, this this is similar to the show. This movie just, just no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to agree with him on that one. No, there are... Because there are, we watched it again. That's, that's, a, floor, down with that's me. a floor of the show, though. It is a floor of the show. I felt that way when I saw it live. I remember when I was, I was fucking 12 years old, and I remember this. When she gets... When she ascends, when she is chosen, hmm. that's the end of the show. Yeah. And yet, the movie did it, too. There are two other endings where uh, Deuteronomy basically 
Judy Dench. Yeah, addresses the audience and tells you mm. what you've learned about cats. Which is yes. that they're not dogs. Go which is yourself. that they're not dogs, which is silly. Like, I feel like we already learned that. And then there's another moment after that where they had... That was cute in the 80s. Yeah, where they had... There was like a third one after that. So I also felt like it was kind of a shame. You know, I, I do. I am a hardcore believer, whatever the phrase is. If you have a strong ending, you can probably redeem the rest of your film. If it ends mm. well, you will get people to say, you know, it actually wasn't that yeah. bad or I enjoyed it. The ending with Jennifer Hudson, when she actually does float up into that balloon and she gets picked, it's, it was emotional. Somehow it got there, can and they, I, they landed also, the moment. Can I, almost, can I just interject? Uh, Jennifer Hudson doing memory, I nearly burst into fucking tears. Really? Yeah, it was amazing. She, she, I when, liked it when, when she, she got to the point where I, I knew the belt was coming, and she hit it and just went with it, and I'm like, yes! yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> we were all waiting for that because they made her like. I got my head. I got my headphones on listening. I yeah, probably was, like woke up half the house. It was very. It was very. That was Les Mis esque for me, but it worked out. Yeah, he definitely he did what he he stayed on her the whole time for yeah. for memory, just like he did. And she was like kind of shaky because she was like, mm. "We don't want to forget while she's singing this that she's tattered." Whereas in the musical, it's like her redemption moment. It's like the last. Did they record this did. live? Did they? No, record I don't the think they did. Live? No, I don't think so. Okay. No, because wow, I mean, impressive. that they lip synced all that. That's pretty. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it sounds really perfect. That, that, that was one, my one gripe, I must say, and I'm going to drink for this. But yeah. uh, sometimes they syncopated the vocals a little bit more than I liked. <laughs> well, that would be a cat's part, and we're like, well, I had one gripe with this. Only one, <laughs> just true. only one. So the uh, ending, the endings frustrated me. I felt like they could have redeemed a lot of the problems with it if they had let people leave the theater having a really rewarding emotional moment for Grizabella or whatever, hmm. whatever that yeah. cat's name is. It just seemed like the obvious way to go out. We got it. I don't think we needed the, anything other beyond that. And I think that was one reason people were so frustrated was because it turned a corner back into the strange part that didn't work for the movie. Mm-hmm. was when they just, for no reason at all, went into another musical number. Uh, that frustrated me. Visual effects, I'm going to go ahead and stand up for them. Yeah, they, We can talk yeah. about this. And the lighting. The lighting was cool. I really... I laughed out loud at what Rebel Wilson and James yeah. Corden did at yeah. the Oscars. It was very funny, but... Obviously, there was a backlash. I'm sure everybody point. heard about it. Yeah. Everyone heard about the backlash in the visual effects point. community. I I'm, don't I'm, understand why they felt so comfortable doing that. Uh, I'm not going to blame the actors. The night, Somebody in the, the academy before, wrote that. The night so. before the Spirit Awards, um, when they, I think, believe they were announcing cinematography, and they made jokes about the cinematographer is that when you come out of your trailer, he's the guy who picks you up in the car and drives you to set. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Will, and, it's Will yeah. yeah. No, it's Will Ferrell and Julie Lewis. Nobody got, a, nobody got offended over that because it was ridiculous. Yeah. But were you expecting as an audience member when you watched that movie, were you going in expecting realism? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you expecting? Stand on two feet. I didn't. I didn't care about any of the, the cat tap dances. Like, like, okay. Yeah, they're not on four feet. They're not cats. I'm sorry. Just, just to so just to wrap it up. If you've seen the musical, um, you're probably gonna like the movie. It's a very very accurate representation, and they've kicked it up a notch from the stage musical. So it's a great improvement over the musical. There's more plot line. The music is better. The some of the characters are fantastic. Taylor Swift was awesome. Her eight minutes were awesome, for sure. Yeah, her eight minutes in the film are Which amazing. Was she? she was Bumbalina. So yeah. she was the other Ballerina, robber. Bumbalina. She sang McCavity. I, I'm four Carlos yeah, Beers yeah, deep yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. That no, match she commission sang, she was tough. She sang um, McCavity. Yeah, I yeah. how it goes. I forget McCavity. how that song goes. I can't. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. She came from, like, the ceiling. They looked up and they thought it was McCavity and it was actually her. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the performances for a little bit. Let's talk about the bit. What did you think of... Did anybody stand out? Did you hate anybody? Did you love anybody? Yeah, Judy stuck, stuck out. Judy was great. And then the non um the non celebrities were the great. The main dude at mm. the beginning who comes back and sings yep. something else at the end, he was good. The main gray cat. Yes. The main gray cat, yeah, yeah. Um I'm gonna try to find the What do you think of Idris? I have his name. I didn't mind him at all. No, people Idris people were fine. talking shit about no, him. I, I can't I help he was think fine. I was like, is, even as a cat, he's a villain. Like he's always the villain in every single movie. This is the villain. Ro- Robbie Fairchild. Movie. Was his name Robbie Fairchild? Yes, ABT dancer, yeah. right? He's huge. Um, he's yes, again the non-dancers. Robbie Fairchild, the ballet dancer. The dancing was, was really awesome. great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Francesca Hayward as an in, like introducing this, like this was like her first film. I'm guessing she's um, Victoria. Uh, yeah, she was Victoria. She was amazing. Yeah, she yeah. was cool. Dance, especially at the end she when they there. have their. Even though I just I just picked on those three endings, but there was a lovely moment without dialogue or singing where they were just dancing in the square, mm. and she finally leads yeah. the dance and yeah. like takes off and it was well, really gorgeous I kind of wanted more of that mm. I feel like a lot yeah. of the I think it may have been more effective cinematically I'll drink if I need to it may have been more effective cinematically for them to take some of the singing out 
and to tell a little bit more yeah, of the I'm story with, with the I'm way with the cats related to each yeah, other. Yeah, make it cinematic and relay who 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 fits into what. Because I was how they on board whenever mm. they were just they touched dancing on that a little bit. And but, yeah, they could have gone farther. That yeah. moment was oh, beautiful. Stephen McRae, uh, Skimble Shanks, who was the tap dancing one, was great. And they yes. they went on the train tracks, and rather than be like a hokey like, oh, there's cats on the train in case there's mice, like the way they tap dance on the rails and stuff. Yeah, Dave, get your beer. You hated that part. That I hated yeah, the, yeah. the the I hated the visual effects in that part. Mm. Okay, okay, he was good. We're giving credit. It was a good moment. He did. He did everything he needed to do. Stephen McRae did a great job. Yeah, that was a, so. We'll blame Tom for that. I'm not blaming sure. the visual effects. Yeah, no, you know what I want to give a shout out to everybody that did the tails. I feel like whoever did the tails, they had the visual effects were horny. Did you notice this? Whenever the cats were excited, the tails were like straight up. It's I mean, like, it's a very. I, I couldn't. There's a lot it. of sexuality. And there was a lot of sensuality. A lot of sexuality. There's a lot of. They want this to be like, right? Like a, like a very sensual. I felt that way when I was, the musical makes me feel that way too. I mean, they're all was, really sexy dancers and like fucking tight spandex with fur. They're yeah. basically, what are those people called that are into fur? I don't know. I feel like furries. They're called furries. They're called furries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're called furries. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is, this is going to a dark furries. place. No, we're going to write this back in. If you are a furry and you haven't seen We are allies of the furry. Okay, we need to wrap this up. So basically, cats, if you like the musical, you'll like the movie. If, just, um, if your partner says we were watching Cats, we gave you some things to think about. Have a couple of beers, yeah. smoke something. Do not sit. think too hard about it. Just enjoy yourself. Yeah, just, just, just sit just, down and watch. Look just, at the lighting, look what, at the tails. Do, do not freak out and run out of the apartment. Yeah, I challenge uh, you bad. to sit down. I bet you will not have a bad time. 